are you all welcome or welcome back to simply Vanetta cooks y'all i am so appreciative of everyone who's been showing their love and support for this platform i truly do appreciate each and every one of you i'm so happy that we're able to come together again today and prayerfully many many more times together let's go ahead and say a prayer y'all and then we'll go ahead and get into what we're going to be cooking up in the kitchen today God, we thank you and we praise you. We worship you, God. We give you all the honor, the praise, and the glory. God, you alone are worthy. Lord, we just thank you and we praise you. Lord, we love you. We love you, God. We love you. Oh, God, we thank you. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. God, I give you the highest praise. We give you the highest praise, which is hallelujah. God, we give you all the honor, the praise, and the glory. God, you alone are worthy. You are the beginning, the middle, and the end. God, you are the great I am. God, you are the King of kings and Lord of lords. God, we thank you. Hallelujah. Lord, you alone are worthy. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Lord, I ask that you would bless each and every person that comes to this platform, God, that you would meet them at their every need because you know us better than we could ever know ourselves. And God, I just pray right now that you would meet every individual at their own personal need, wherever they are, God, wherever they are in this particular time and step in life god i ask and pray that you would meet them where they are that you would bless them god that you would keep them and that you would give them peace in jesus and, that, and god i pray that you would forgive us for our sins known and unknown in jesus holy and precious name we pray amen i appreciate y'all for for if you joined in that prayer with me thank you so you all guess what my mic went out and I did not realize it. So I'm going to be doing a voiceover. I hope y'all don't mind. So let me, let me go ahead and try to jump in here. So I was just showing you the graham cracker crumbles. I also gave my husband a shout out, a shout out because he had picked up those, uh, because you can either use the graham cracker sheets and pulverize them in your, uh, process food processor or they have the ones that's already crumbled. So thank you, honey, for grabbing those that were already crumbled. Um, we also have powdered sugar for this recipe. We have the cho white chocolate chips. We have avocado oil, or you can use coconut oil. We have the pumpkin puree. If you don't like pumpkin, then try the sweet potatoes. Um, we also have an eight ounce cream cheese. We have a tad of salt that's gonna go into this recipe. We have some pumpkin spice uh, seasoning, and we also have some vanilla flavoring. Okay, you all, so we're going to go in with our softened cream cheese, our graham cracker crumbles, our powdered sugar, and also the pumpkin puree. We're going to get this all mixed up really well, and then next we'll go in with our seasonings. Okay, so this is about the consistency that we want it to be. If you find that it's still a little bit too loose, you can always add a little bit more of your graham cracker crumbles. Also, I am mixing this with my hand. You can feel free to use a mixer if you like. Okay, so now that we've gotten our consistency, we're going to go in with two teaspoons of the pumpkin spice a pinch of salt, and a half teaspoon of vanilla flavoring. Okay, now that we've got it all mixed up, we're gonna go ahead and take it to the freezer for one hour. Okay, so now we have come out the freezer. I'm going to wear gloves to roll these balls up. Now, remember, our goal is about 20 balls. If you want to, you know, add a little more, have a little less balls, have uh, add a little less, have more balls, it's totally up to you. Um, so we're going to roll these up. 
uh, and then they're going to go back into the freezer for an additional 30 minutes. tablespoon of your oil so we're going to just mix that all around your chips your chocolate chips and then we're going to put it into the microwave uh, in 30 second increments okay so we can get it all melted up yep I think we're good so even if you see chunks at this point don't don't heat again because the heat within the chocolate is going to go ahead and melt those other ones down. Oh, yeah. And y'all, let me tell y'all something. Um, I was using a, 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 a mic and I didn't realize my mic had gone out. So I had a whole lot to talk about. I'm so sorry. So I ended up, as you see, doing a voiceover. So uh, please forgive me. Uh, but I hope my voice my uh, voiceover is okay for you. I'll make sure that um, I check my mic next time. I did check it, but I guess I'll have to double check it and triple check it. But yes, just wanted to let y'all know. Uh, so hopefully y'all hear me pretty well now. Okay, you all, so here we are. We're 30 minutes from being in the freezer. So now the fun begins, y'all. Well, the fun's already begin, been beginning. Because, I mean, how can you not have fun with chocolate? Chocolate and cheesecake. I'm going to work these off of the paper while they're still frozen. Now we're going to go ahead and dip them in our chocolate. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, now what we're gonna do now y'all we're gonna top it with graham cracker crust we are done with our pumpkin pie cheesecake bites now I did go back in and put graham cracker crumble on top of it but you could also do uh, some additional chocolate drizzled on it you know like back and forth on it you can do caramel um, really you could just do whatever you prefer as your topping on top. <laughs> so y'all, here we go. We've got our beautiful pumpkin pie cheesecake bites. Y'all, this was super fun. It's uh, no bake. Hey, and that kept the kitchen cool. Okay, here goes your bite. good. 
Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. Look at that. That was good. You don't have to make them this big. We average about 20. If you want to double this, you can. Make yours about half this size. It'll be totally up to you. Mm. That was tasty. Super simple, super easy recipe. I know this video is probably, probably a little bit all over the place um, with my mic issue. And uh, I hope and pray that I was able to make up for that with this recipe. Y'all, it's really, really good. It's really tasty. You're going to have people coming back asking you to make it for them if you make it for them. Okay, you all. So if you haven't already, maybe consider subscribing. Be sure to hit that thumbs up. I'd love to hear from y'all. So make sure you leave some comments down in the comment section. If you have any ideas for this channel, I'd love to hear those as well. Y'all, look, I hope y'all really truly enjoy this recipe. I hope that y'all are also enjoying the content on this platform. I do truly appreciate each and every one of y'all. And just know, you're always welcome at Simply Vanetta's. I love y'all.